characterize different diodes by hand using a multimeter and by using an oscilloscope. Now we will characterize these diodes using a physical data acquisition device uh, and a LabVIEW program uh, to sweep the voltage across the diode and measure its current. We will be using the same setup as before with a diode in series with a resistor. The physical device will apply a voltage across the circuit and we will also use the physical device to measure the voltage across the diode and the voltage across the resistor in order to calculate the current in the circuit. This resistor is been, has been measured at 975 ohms. This is the physical data acquisition device made by National Instruments. We will be using two modules on this device. One is the NI9219, which is made for analog input. We will be using two channels on this module for measuring voltage. The first channel uh, will measure voltage across the, the diode, and the second channel will measure the voltage across the resistor. The second module is the NI9263, is made for uh, analog output of a signal, and so this will be uh, giving us our voltage signal across the circuit. So now we will put the wires into the breadboard. Uh, we'll first put the wires in to measure voltage across the diode. Uh, for forward bias, remember the diode has this little ring at the top that indicates the cathode, uh, so that will be the negative side uh, of the forward bias. Uh, so current will be going this way, electrons flow this way. So we'll put our positive lead for forward bias there. This is for measuring voltage and ground on that side. And then the same thing for the resistor. We'll take our two leads. This one is for positive, for forward bias. And then our ground can be put in that column. Okay. And then last is the output voltage of our analog output module. So one wire will be the output voltage signal which in a forward bias will be positive, and then the second wire will be ground. Put in this column. So remember this whole column is connected, this whole column is connected, and each row is connected but isolated from different rows. Okay, so we have this side, this whole row is connected, this side, this whole row is connected, and then this entire column is connected. Now we will set up the LabVIEW program to run our test. Uh, this program was developed for the Electrical Engineering 331 course, but I've taken it and I've uh, modified it slightly. Uh, first, we want to make sure we have an established connection with our physical device and which modules we'll be reading from and which channels of those modules we will read from. So for the output voltage, we have our analog output channel zero, which is the, where the wires are connected to. For the voltage across the diode, we're reading that from channel one, uh, excuse me, that's channel zero. Remember it starts from index zero as the first channel, so this is AI zero, analog input, channel zero. And then the voltage across the resistor is channel one, AI one. So we make sure those are connected, so we're measuring the right uh, values. And then we want to establish our parameters for our test. So what this test will do is sweep the voltage across the circuit uh, and we can determine what those start and stop values are and how many data points we want to collect uh, between those ranges. Uh, so we, we will start at zero volts and we will go up to two volts here and we're going to be collecting 50 data points within that range. Okay. Uh, we also have a value for our resistance. That way the program can calculate the current from measuring the voltage across the resistor, dividing by the resistance to make current. All right. We want the program to sweep out to our, uh, our forward bias out to two volts and then sweep back. So it's going to be a, a cyclic uh, program. It's going to sweep out and then sweep back to zero volts. And then for reverse bias, we will do the same. We're going to sweep out and then sweep back to zero volts. So we start at zero volts. And for reverse BIOS, we'll stop at three, negative three volts. Okay. So now we can start the scan. 
Oh, excuse me. We have to start the program first. We have to hit the run button on our program. So now we're running the program. And we will say start scan. So now it's sweeping the voltage across the circuit up to two volts. But remember, we're only measuring this x-axis here is diode voltage. So it's not necessarily going to go all the way to two volts. And then the y-axis is the current through the circuit that's been calculated through the resistor. And now it's sweeping back down to zero volts. You don't see anything because it's, it's right on top of the original points. And now it's, doing, it's going to the reverse bias. It's going to uh, negative voltage. So now the applied voltage across the circuit's reached negative three. It's sweeping back to zero. And there's a little LED light here that says we're still measuring. So once that LED light turns off, uh, we can save the data. All right, it's done measuring. Now we will save the data. Okay, and you will receive that data file.